Well, I promised you guys an all expense paid adventure into the uh, function of 1 minus e to the minus t over rc. That'd be this right here. Um, this is not a straight line. What they're doing is taking this time constant here and the first time constant, what 63.2 percent of it, they're taking 20 percent of that. So this part here, it really looks like a straight line so they're calling this a straight line. Uh, and They only let it charge 20 percent of the first time constant so that's it. Um, we were looking at the math behind it and they were talking this is the easy way to do it, 20 percent, uh, 125 kilohertz. However, you have to pick R and C to be able to do that. Um, let me give you an example of how to pick R and C. Um, the formula we're dealing with is V out is equal to V in um, times 1 minus E to the minus T over R C. This formula should be able to give you, if you pick a certain time here, it should be able to give you a voltage. Or here, if we get a voltage, it should give you a certain time. So we have voltage uh, V out and we have V in. And uh, with the components of R and C that we have, um, we should be able to figure out this part of it here. So let's start out. We got 10 volts is equal to. Uh, minus 55 volts times 1 minus e to the minus t over rc. We know what rc is, um, so we're going to solve for minus t. So uh, we take the 1 over and the e and the minus over and we end up changing the 10 over 55 to 1 minus 10 over 55 is equal to e to the minus t over rc. That's a natural log function, so if you take the uh, ln of both sides got ln of 1 minus 10 over 55 is equal to minus t over rc. Um, we'll take the rc over and we end up with rc times the natural log of 1 minus 10 over 55 is equal to minus t. So you start plugging in values, 2k ohms, uh, 0 0.02 microfarads times the natural log of this it actually gives you a negative number so it's equal to the minus t and the minus of a negative number is uh, positive so we have 8.026 microseconds that's where they came up with the 8 microseconds